What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV. Now this video is a little bit of a discussion really. We've been seeing lots of advances in smartphones year on year and screen resolution is something we usually always see improvements on. So in 2012, we had lots of 720p smartphones such as the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Google Nexus 4, and lots of other devices. And in 2013, we had lots of 1080p screens such as the Samsung Galaxy S4, the Google Nexus 5, the HTC One, the list was endless. Now in 2014, there's lots of talk around 1440p screens, so that's 2560 by 1440. So we're gonna be looking at above 500 ppi pixel density which is absolutely insane so oppo have already announced that their next device will have a 2560 by 14 a 40 resolution screen and there's lots of rumors around the samsung galaxy s5 also having the same resolution but how many pixels is too many now what i've noticed is that in 2013 although lots of the devices had larger batteries than their predecessors they had roughly about the same amount of usage in terms of battery life. So for instance, if we take the Samsung Galaxy devices, the Samsung Galaxy S3 has a 720p screen and a 2100 milliamp battery. The Samsung Galaxy S4 has a 1080p screen with a 2600 milliamp battery. However, there wasn't a huge deal of difference in terms of battery life between the two. Now I'm not saying that pixels and screen resolution are the only factors that go towards the battery life, but they are definitely a significant factor. And it goes without saying that the more pixels you have, the more power you're gonna be needing to power up and process those pixels. And if we look at different screen resolutions, a 720p screen has 1280 by 720 pixels. So in total, that's under a million pixels. A 1080p screen, however, has 1920 by 1080. So that's over two million pixels. So you're looking at double the pixels of a 720p screen and the further up you go the more pixels you have and the more power you're going to be needing to power and process those pixels so if you go back to the example of the galaxy devices if the samsung galaxy s4 had a 720p screen for instance it would definitely have a longer battery life. And some manufacturers such as Motorola, for instance, have opted for a 720p screen. So the Moto X has a 720p screen, even though it is a flagship. And one thing that a lot of users boast about is the tremendous battery life that you get with the Moto X. So for me, that raises the question, what's more important, a better battery life or a higher pixel resolution? And that's something that I really like to know from you guys. So please do drop me a comment below and let me know what's more important to you, even if it's just pixels or battery whichever you want just uh, do drop that in the comment section below anyway yeah, i hope you enjoyed this video it's just something that was on my mind and i wanted to get some feedback from you guys if you did enjoy it then please do hit that thumbs up button for me it really does help me out and why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already there's plenty of content coming up in 2014 thanks for watching this is saf on super saf tv and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below.